Hello, welcome to the Man Cave, and today we're doing a very basic beginner's guide or difference between a Springer air rifle and a PCP air rifle. Um, I'm not going to show you how to scoop or what's there with them, that's a totally different subject. Oh, this is just real basics for people who don't really know the difference when they're getting into air gunning. A Springer rifle, this one, these are both 22 caliber. This one is a Remington Express, and they call them Springers because they work off spring power. This is brake barrel, and I'm going to show you the difference between how these operate and how free charge units operate. So, very simple. We have pellets to load the Springer guns. We break the barrel and pull it down. Then you put a single shot. Most Springers are like this. In fact, all Springers are like this. They're all single shot. Some are under lever. This is brake barrel. You put the barrel up, push the safety off, and then make sure you're safe down range. Look through your scope and fire. That's done one single shot, and then you have to load it again, and off you go. A PCP gun, this one, far lighter. This one's two-thirds of the weight of this one. As you can see, gunner safe. This one has an air gauge in the bottom, so you make sure you've got air. There's a in here. There's a magazine that holds 10 pellets, so we'll show you how that works. Pull back out, remove the magazine, but in this one we put 10 pellets in. PCP stands for pre-charge unit. Pre-charge pneumatic actually. So you just load your 10 pellets in. This is a 2-2 Gamu Fox. Um, sister gun to a lot of BSAs, a lot of shared parts. Because a lot of people who are now starting out in the hobby probably don't really know which gun to go for or what suits them best. Once your magazine's loaded, drop it in, push the bolt back, and that's now ready to shoot. One shot, two shots, three shots, four shots, five shots. That simple. And you just keep doing this one till you've used your ten pellets. Then you just reload your magazine again. So yeah, you'll use a lot more pellets with these, but these are a lot more... They're not a lot more accurate. They're very much easier to shoot than Springers. If you can shoot a Springer and hit target with that, you'll certainly get on with PCP. With Springers, you do get recoil where the gun has a little bit of kick. With these, you get absolutely none. That's your basic difference between a PCP gun and a Springer gun. So yeah, that's basically all there is to this short video. Not a lot else to know, these are quite maintenance free. Both guns, I do clean the barrels about once a month through these. That's about it really. Yeah, a little bit of lubrication around your bolt. And there's not a lot else to them. They are that simple to use. Very reliable. This particular gun in 2-2 form, running about 11 foot pound, which is about the UK limit. I get about... 60 consistent shots before this needs refilling with air check out my channel you will see another video where i do actually charge this with air using a two-stage compressor some people use diving bottles scuba tanks but i just use a compressor because i only shoot from home so yes if you're on the market for getting into air rifling this is the basic difference between the two Prices range anywhere from spring guns, they range anywhere from £50 to £500. PCP guns range from anywhere from £300 to £3,000. 
Um, so yeah, the PCPs are a bit dearer, but I can guarantee you you'll enjoy shooting these a lot more than a Springer. But these are ammunition hungry. You get through pellets at an alarming rate with them when you're firing 10 off in about 30 seconds. So yeah, that's all there is to it. So hope you enjoyed the video. Very short and sweet, but I hope it's helped somebody out who's thinking of getting into the hobby. And I'll say bye-bye for now. Bye-bye for now.